Silver Birch. So this is our theme lesson for this week. And as you know, we've been looking at the jobs that people used to do. So, so far, we've looked at the jobs from the medieval and the Tudor period. And today, we're moving on quite a lot by over 200 years to the Victorian times. So I want you to know some of the jobs that people did in Victorian times. So the Victorian times are called that because it is the time of Queen Victoria. She became queen in 1837 and died in 1901. So the Victorian age is from 1837 to 1901. So it started about 180 years ago and it finished about 120 years ago. Britain changed massively during this time. The Industrial Revolution had already started but it really developed in Victorian times. So this was when, when Britain changed from being mainly farmland and villages and small towns to the development of factories, transport such as steam powered boats, steam trains, more roads and during this time people went to live in big towns so cities grew so Britain wasn't just um, farmland and villages anymore there was a lot more cities and factories. The number of people in Britain grew too. At the start of the Victorian age there were 16 million people and by the end there was about 37 million people. The Victorian age is known as a time when there was a huge gap between the lifestyles of rich and poor people. If you were rich, you could enjoy your free time. You could go on holiday, you could have a grand home. Rich Victorian children had a good life with toys and school. But if you were poor, life was very difficult. They lived in dirty and overcrowded housing. Maybe the whole family would sleep in the same room. They had a poor diet and poor health and often whole families would have to work so that they could buy food. They didn't have any luxuries. Some rich people in Victorian times did work. Jobs that they did include being a lawyer or a doctor, a banker, a factory owner. Remember that this was a time when lots of new factories were built in Britain. so. Being a factory owner could get you a lot of money. Other jobs that rich people might have done in Victorian times include being a journalist, writing articles for a newspaper, or a writer such as the famous Victorian writer Charles Dickens, or a businessman, or an engineer. There was a lot of engineers in Victorian times. It was a time where, when there was a lot of inventions, new factories, structures that were being put up like bridges, canals. So that was a, a, a job that Vic, rich Victorians might have done. Poor people often did dirty or dangerous jobs and the Victorians were happy for young children to go and work. They got paid very little and they often did dangerous jobs which led to accidents or illness or sometimes even death. They were often badly treated by the adults that they worked for. If you remember, in the medieval and Tudor times, most people worked as farmers. But in Victorian times, there were still lots of farmers, but it wasn't the most common job anymore. Things were changing. And before I tell you what the most common job was, have a look at the boy in this painting. He's working as a bird scarer. So young boys in the countryside might have done this job. They had to stand in a field all day long with a wooden clapper that you can see in his hand to make a noise to scare off the birds so that they didn't, the birds didn't eat the seed or the crops in the field. And this job was often lonely, boring, and depending on the weather, it might have been too cold or too hot or too wet. And it could be frightening for the small children to be out in the field on their own all day. So this is the most common Victorian job, being a factory worker. Lots of new factories were built, often very large, and they were manufacturing all sorts of items like iron, steel and cotton. A being a factory worker was a hard job and often dangerous. 
Many workers were ill from breathing in fumes or dust, or they were injured by the machinery. Workers who fell behind with their work could be fined or sacked. And again, children often worked in factories and they worked really long hours. Because they were small, they could get into smaller spaces and so they often had to clean machines even while they were still running. So obviously this was dangerous. Many children had their fingers chopped off in the machines and some were even killed. The Victorian Industrial Revolution was powered by steam, made, which is made by burning coal. So being a miner was another common job. They needed to dig out the coal out of the ground. Again, it was difficult and dangerous. The safety of the miners was not considered important, so accidents happened a lot, such as tunnels flooding with water, the ceiling might have collapsed, underground gas poisoned the miners, or sometimes that gas caused an explosion. So it was very dangerous work. And children from around the age of five could be sent to work in the mines, often spending all day, the long day, on their own in the dark, or they had to crawl through small tunnels dragging heavy carts of coal, which were attached round their waist by chains. You can see that in one of the pictures on the slide. Coal was also used for heating homes and chimneys in people's homes needed sweeping. And a chimney sweep's job is to clean out the soot from the chimney. They often use small boys too to help them, ideally around six years old. And the child could, was small so it could fit in the chimney so that to climb up to help to clean it. These boys were often treated badly and sometimes if they were too slow the sweep would light a fire under them and so they got burned feet. Other common Victorian jobs, again usually badly paid, were being a domestic servant or a maid, a shoe shiner, a washerwoman, or a driver driving the horse and cart for the master. So we've looked at some of the common jobs done by rich and poor people, including children, in Victorian times. I hope you found it interesting. And here's your task. In your work pack, Silver Birch, you have these sheets. So I want you to first match up the name of the job with the picture that represents the job. So, for example, the first one says factory worker. And if you look in the top row, the third picture along, you've got a, a photograph of people working all the machines in a factory. So those two would match up. And then when you've done that, I want you to decide which jobs were done by rich people and which were done by poor people. So for example, a doctor would have been a job done by a rich person and a shoe shiner would have been poor. So have a go at that. Send in any work if you like, if you get it done or bring it when you come back to school. And good luck and I'll speak to you soon.